What's up everybody, E60 DNA, about to do another car review, uh, so stay tuned for that one, man. Alright, so I'm here with uh, Jose, we're about to get this uh, review going, so, alright, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Alright, not too bad. Uh, so you want to tell us a little bit about your uh, your car here? Yep, so, we got here a 1997 Nissan Altima, not your average tuner, but, you know, we're gonna we're going to try some things out with this thing. All right, all right. It's a uh, five-speed. Still got the uh, original K24 that it came with. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy. Little rep, deep dish steering wheel. Nice. Got a uh, Ralco short shifter. Kind of gutted. All right, so you're telling me uh, we got some suspension done on this thing, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, let's go got, ahead and take uh, a look at it. Got some Megan's 32A. Um, also got some uh, some custom parts. So we got the Megan's right here. Adjustables. Um, got the uh, custom end links right here with the solid Himes. I uh, I got the uh, the the bushings for the sway bar. Also got the bushings for the control arm. Somewhere down there, can't really see them. Also got the uh, the upgraded uh, stainless steel brake lines, braided steel brake lines. Nice. Also got the uh, upgraded 300ZX four piston calipers. Actually fit right on. Yeah, so what I was looking at right now. It's not your average uh, setup for a Nissan Altima. <laughs> yeah, not the not, not your average for a for a family. The family sedan. Nice. So that's that does it for the uh, for the suspension of the front end. Also got the uh, same setup in the rear. Not as aggressive, but same setup in, in the rear. Got the uh, the Megans back there. Got the uh, the uh, solid Himes and links. Got a upgraded sway bar. Um, more goodies to come soon too. All right, all right. And as far as the engine bay, um, just in right here. Nothing too fancy right now. Everything, of course, is inside. Got a. Uh, it's pretty much completely built. Nine to one compression ratio pistons forged. Those are. Um, those are Wiseco. Got the uh, the rods, heat treated, shopping. Got the ARP rod bolts. Got the uh, crankshaft knife edged. Um, that's about it for the uh, for the bottom. The top, I got the uh, the multi layer head gasket copper. I got the ARP head studs. I got uh, all Brian Crower valve train. I got a uh, dual dual valve springs. Titanium retainers, stage two cams, and a mild port and polish. Of course, that's all inside. Can't really see that. Yeah, all internal. Uh, so, so she's a she's a beast, man. She, uh, you know what? She's she's gonna be a beast when uh, this is a forced induction build. But as you can see, it's still not still not turboed or anything. So that's the adjustable uh, Megan suspension. I got the camber set right now. I didn't want too much camber. Kind of try to more of a track build. Of everything. Yeah, yeah. More of a track build, a little grip, grip build. Got the ultra racing uh, strut bar. Don't really offer too much for this vehicle, but you know, I try to do my my research and find little things here and there, like the 300 ZX brakes. You know. Yeah. All right. Got uh, some uh, some headers. I forgot what brand they are. I believe uh, Stealing, right? Stealing, still or, or I think there might be Stealing. Yeah. And uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, I got a. Well, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I got a solid uh, motor mount. So it's just a solid piece. There's no rubber in there no more. So it feels great. <laughs> Feel all the vibrations. 
for all the vibrations and that's uh that's pretty much it with the engine but you know not too much going on right now it's uh it's a project car so <clears throat> i do some things here and there but uh, you know, i don't try to break my budget either yeah that's what it's about man try to keep ourselves in a budget yep. got a projector retrofit but you know i need to clean it up Yes, really? three three hundred projectors. Also got a full full exhaust system. It's a twenty quarter inch piping to a resonator thrush resonator, and then also got an ES tuning muffler performance muffler. It's a two and a quarter in, two and a quarter out. It muffles pretty good, but of course you know with all the all the, the work done on the engine it still gets pretty loud once uh -oh. it passes uh two and a half thousand rpms sounds pretty good did we get the sound of it yes sir from the cams right there guys all right man uh, so you think you give us a little quick rev on this thing yep uh, let's check her out man pretty loud uh now how about your wheel setup uh, what do we got going on with the wheels man so these are these are just some mx um 16 by 8 zero offset i got these just to see how uh how we would fit on the vehicle as you can see uh, again you know it's a nissan ultima not a lot of people work on these things so it was uh it was a uh, shot in the dark man but uh they, they don't fit too bad it's not that bad of a fitment right there. It's pretty I still, good. I still want to do some, get some other wheels, but uh, these are wrapped on some Falcon Zeke's. Um, got the Muteki uh, studs, wheel, wheel, wheel uh, lug nuts. nuts. The studs are in the front, actually. So I got studs on this one, and same setup. It's a square, square setup. Okay. Uh, zero offset, 16 by 8s, and uh, these are this is my fitment on my. My brakes, <laughs> so almost, oh, yes. <laughs> almost no, no space between those. This is just for now, temporary. Just wanted to see how they would fit. Doesn't look too bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, uh, want to go for a quick ride? Yeah, let's go. Let's do a ticket for a quick ride. All right, so let's take it for a quick test ride, man. All right, cool. Also got a, uh, it's not a stage clutch, but uh, it's equivalent to uh, stage five. It's a, uh, it's a little, uh, little Frankenstein, I guess you could call it. Okay. Flywheels from a 280. Actual clutch is from a Skyline. Oh, nice. So it got, it got a lot more grip. 
it's real, real nice. Real responsive. Real responsive. Yeah, it's, uh, the uh, the clutch pedal is not too, it's not too too aggressive. It's it feels good. No okay. stiffness. It's not your average everyday Nissan Altima. This thing here, guys, this thing's got some power, it's got some balls. Also got a uh, also got a little locker type thing for the transmission. Alright, nice. So it acts as a uh, LSD. talking to you I'm talking to you man and uh it's a good car there man it's a real good car more to come more to come all right so that's it with that review uh don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell and uh let me know if you guys like that review man and keep it coming uh, anybody wants me to review their cars go ahead and uh drop me a message at the bottom and i can do that for you guys all right man thank you